Hello, I'm Lauren Bianchini and I want to talk about how I, as a researcher, as a young researcher, as a student, can make my research more visible. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to summarize it in seven tips. And uh, just to present myself, um, I'm the CEO of My Science Work, and we provide Polaris, and it's a product to help research labs and institutions to make their research more visible. So we've given it a bit of a thought. Um, so now we're going to focus on how you can do it easily, but first, why? Why communicate about research and share it? Well, two obvious answers. Um, on the academic side, well, to improve the discoverability of your work. That means, well, uh, increase citations because people don't cite work that they don't know exists. Um, but also to make yourself more visible, just to increase more uh, opportunities, job opportunities, collaborations, fundings, projects, well, all kind of stuff. And on the other side, a more, um, even more obvious is the impact on society. Um, sharing your research, communicating your research, you know about it, but um, it, it educates people and also improves access to research and knowledge for the greater good of our society, so just let's do it. And um, I've come up with seven tips to easily, um, well, I call it seven tips for ethical growth hacking of scientific visibility. And what I want you to think after the end of my talk is that it, it's easy. Um, so first, share your joy. Yeah, it's a science, it's a nature. So that paper, maybe you've worked on it more than nine months, right? So just talk about it around you, get excited, and email it to people, whatever, just talk about it. Um, two, ask for feedback and advice. Well, feedback will always improve your research and your papers but it also raises awareness of what you do and then um, sparks interest and curiosity about you and about your next work. Um, how wonderful. <laughs> Three, share everything that's shareable. So preprints, presentations, but whatever you have worked on that you feel like you could share and that people will be happy to use and will be happy to uh, refer to. That will help people well, discover your work and know about what you're doing, but also it allows you to claim ownership soon in the research uh, process. Four, discuss and be active. I know you know it, but it starts from around the coffee machine and goes everywhere where you do and you interacts with people, uh, even on Facebook. And that helps you uh, build an expertise and show your expertise, but also connect with peers. Um, you will learn by discussing with people, and you can also get to test your ideas. Five, disseminate. That slide is a bit big, but um, I've put here the traditional good academic practices. You do all of them. Uh, go to conferences, do posters, email, publish in prestigious journals, institutional repositories. Don't forget that one. Your, your university is providing you with a great tool to share your research, so use it. Uh, and then all that stuff can go on the web. Uh, so general social media, we don't need to talk about uh, scientific social media, uh, first is us, my science work, the research gate, um, academia.edu, Mendeley, and then also other tools I've put um, about me. That's the easiest way for me, I think, to put a CV online, but also Medium is the easiest way to get a blog and get readers. Well, choose your favorite one, don't try to be active on all of them. Um, it will use your individual network, not just to share um, holiday pigs and cats, but also to talk about what you really care uh, about and what you do, and just increases the number of people who know, who really know what you do. Six, a popular science and PR. Your university has a PR department. Do they know what you do? Well, if they don't, maybe it would be interesting to connect with them, to share with them your success stories, and to say how excited you are about your projects. You can also, yourself, write articles, short articles for the general public, and that, in general, will also help yourself better understand the impact of your research, develop writing skills, and produce non-academic content to be put out in the web. Seven and last, share lists of links. Um, people will
will be grateful if you do that. So if you can pick a subject where you read a lot, like you read a lot of articles, and then you share this in a comprehensive, easy to access way, well, people will really uh, appreciate it. And uh, that was it. So that was um, the seven tips that I choose to easily make your research available, but I'd be very happy to hear about your thoughts about that and your tips in the discussion part that will take part after the, the presentations. Thank you.